hello students uh, the topic which we are going to discuss today that is incremental budgeting uh, as usual we will discuss what is our uh, expected accomplishments for today's session we will discuss what is incremental budgeting we will discuss uh, for which organization uh, incremental budgeting is suitable what is the difference between incremental budgeting and zero based budgeting then we will discuss advantages of incremental budgeting and then we will discuss disadvantages of incremental budgeting so let's start with what is incremental budgeting yes an incremental budget is a budget prepared using a previous period budget or actual performance so the starting point to prepare the budget for the current period is uh, the previous year budgeted data previous year budgeted data you can use the budget of the previous accounting period or the actual performance of that accounting period it is optional either you can use the uh, previous year budgeted data either you can use the actual data of previous period as a baseline and then you will make incremental changes like by adding some amounts or by subtracting some uh, amounts for the new budget period so very simple it is a traditional approach of budgeting where we are using the previous year period budget and just adding something and subtracting uh, subtracting something uh, to come out at the new figure so the allocation of resources in current accounting period is based on what was allocated in previous period its allocation is based on what what was the allocation in the previous period you are supposed to do some additions or subtraction from the figure of the previous accounting period because your baseline is previous accounting period data this approach is not recommended approach but it is a traditional approach why the reason is it doesn't account for the changing circumstances because the base you are using that is previous period what are the changes in the current period you are not accounting for those changes then uh, the other major discussion about incremental budgeting is it encourages to the managers to spend the whole amount which is allocated in the budget what the reason they have like they are intended if they will not spend all the amount which is allocated in the budget they may lose the funds in the upcoming budget this is called spend it or lose mentality so under incremental budgeting the departmental heads managers are trying to expense out all the bu budget which is allocated to them what would be its consequences we will discuss when we will talk about merits and demerits now the summary of this whole discussion is under incremental budgeting we are using the previous accounting period data and we are just adding or subtracting something to to prepare the budget for the current accounting period this budget is suitable for stable organizations the organizations those have stable environment they have standard procedures uh, 
there is no major changes in their operations etc from one accounting period to other accounting period incremental budgeting is suitable for those applications it is suitable for budgeting up for cost the cost of the areas where you have idea about like you can say about fixed cost because you have idea about every time period you are just adding something uh, i am just putting it as being an example then it is suitable for public sector as well as private sector but for the organizations those don't have dynamic uh environment they have stable environment from one accounting period to other accounting period their operations are same so it is suitable for such type of organizations what is the principal difference between incremental budget and zero budget we have discussed in our previous uh, session like when i was talking about zero based budgeting so as i discussed you that under incremental budgeting we are using the uh, previous period data to prepare the current year budget so it is a just a practice to add something or to subtract something from the previous year data to prepare the budget of current year okay this is the traditional approach conventional approach of budgeting budget preparation okay it is a traditional or conventional approach to prepare the budget now zero based budgeting was evolved after second world war when the organizations were facing uh, the issue of funding so at that time they started to prepare the budget by from scratch keeping in mind that they have scarce resources and there should be efficient allocation of those resources and it was uh, like uh, implemented in uh, 1960s and especially at that time it was introduced by the secretary finance of united states of america in 1960 he was the advocate of zero based budgeting so the principal difference between two approaches is under incremental budgeting we are using the previous period data we are just adding or subtracting something from that budget but under zero based budgeting we are starting from the scratch whole we are not using the uh, data of the previous accounting period it uh, this approach is evolved after world war 2 and it was practically implemented by mid 1960s but incremental budgeting is a conventional or traditional approach for the preparation of the budget what are the merits of incremental budgeting it is considered to be the most quickest just you are doing addition and subtraction practice from the previous year data and easiest method of budgeting yes definitely easiest method because you are just making the minor modifications so you require less time period as i discussed earlier it's a quickest way when you require less time it means the cost to prepare budget is also less low preparation cost the consistency could be maintained in operations because from accounting from one accounting period to other accounting period you have almost same budget allocation so the operations are supposed to be stable as i discussed it is suitable for the organization which is consistent here conflicts can be avoided between departments because uh, they are treated on the fair way and the same manner uh, there is no uh, like 
biasness to any department. Impact of change can be seen quickly. This is important. Like if you need to make change in any operation or any uh, procedure, you are just going to add something or to subtract something. So change can be implemented quickly and it would be visible very soon. Now, we are going to discuss the demerits of incremental budgeting. It assumes activities and methods of working will continue in the same way. No, there is a possibility that you are operating in a dynamic environment. Again, today I will refer you towards COVID-19. Now, this is uh, like uh, I'm explaining you with this fun scenario. This is an organization. And outside this circle, this is environment. So what is going to happen in environment will impact on the organization like now COVID-19 have impacts on the environment and due to the, that impact there is impact on the organization. So there are some controllable factors, some non-controllable factors, uncontrollable factors, those will impact the way you are operating. So Practically, it is impossible that every organization will work in a static environment. The environment of operations is uh, always dynamic. So, there is no incentive to develop a new idea because uh, there is no additional allocation of funds for developing new idea. So managers will not try to develop new idea. They will not strive to generate something different. They will just do the operations those are doing with uh, from so many time periods. Most of the cases, this scenario is uh, practically applicable in government environments. They have seems procedures, there is no innovation, uh, like they have standard procedures, so they are operating in the same way. No incentive to reduce cost, as I discussed earlier, that it is the intent of management that if they will not uh, exhaust all resources, they will not drain all resources, then in next time period, there would be cut for their budget allocation. So they will expense out, they will consume all the budget which is allocated to them. So there is no incentive to reduce costs. Okay. Then budget may become out of date. Yes, because you are using the baseline which is prepared a time ago and you are just adding or subtracting something every accounting period so uh, now there is a possibility that the requirement of the current period is totally different so it may be outdated but that may become outdated and no longer relate to the activity level or type of working working operations have been changed so it, it doesn't uh, relate the allocation of the funds to your budgets. Again, I will give you the example from government sector. Uh, like sometimes governments are giving their lands on lease. Sometimes governments are giving their lands on lease to some people. Now the prices of lease of even though agrarian 
lands in Pakistan is too much higher. But still the lease, lease rental rates of the government lands are like outdated. There is a just routine wise changes 5% increment or 10% increment. Now their uh, lease pricing is not compatible what is the market price. So in this way the budget figures may be outdated, maybe not. Uh, related to what is current requirement. Performance targets are often unchallenging. They are not challenging because there is a budgetary slack. Since they are largely based on past performance uh, with some kind of token increase, just get, as I told you that it is ceremonial 5% or 10%. Uh, that is also conventional customary change. Like you will increase, say, material cost by 5%, etc. Then, priority of resources may have changed since the budgets were set originally. Now, there is a new requirement, there is no new need. So how to allocate your resources that priority may be changed. So in this way, you can say these are the disadvantages of incremental budgeting. And uh, for that reason, incremental budgeting is not recommended method to prepare the budget. Uh, one thing which I would like to discuss more, there is a possibility that you may carry the budgetary slack. We have discussed about slack when we were talking about uh, like uh, in our first lecture of budgeting, uh, how to prepare the budget, budget process over uh, there we discussed what is budgetary slack? We discussed that sometime intentionally the manager will make some cushion to, uh, uh, for their expenses. So if there is a budgetary slack in the previous period, that will be carried forward. So it means the summary of this whole discussion is all inefficiencies of previous period will be carried forward. One thing which I have noticed that most of the students are going to write down an other disadvantage about budgeting that is like it will not in uh, for incremental budgeting that uh, it will not incorporate uh, inflation. That is something wrong. This is uh, like no inflation consideration. No inflation. This is, I often notice that students uh, writing down as a demerit. This is wrong. This is not a demerit. This is not a demerit. Inflation is always considered inflation is always considered when we are preparing incremental budgeting because the definition of incremental budgeting is it adds something, it subtracts something. So this is common misperception about disadvantages of incremental budgeting. Incremental budgeting will always 
in carburetor insulation. So these were the demerits, and uh, this was the discussion about incremental budget. Thank you very much for your precious time. I hope you may enjoy my lecture. So please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon to get latest notifications. Thank you very much.